Now that we've looked at ways of building apps with multiple views and view controllers, let's look at a way of doing it even easier. An alternative to using multiple nib files and multiple custom view controllers for each nib file and building up each one individually is called storyboards. What you see on the screen here now in Xcode is the master detail view template expanded, but with the storyboards button clicked in the create new project dialog. You can see we have a navigation controller. We have our table view as we had before, and we've got our detail view. In a storyboard, each one of these is called a scene. And the way you connect scenes, for example, the way you go from a selected item in the table view to the detail view is by something called a segue. You still use custom view controllers, but you can see all of your application in one spot. Now you create your navigations in Interface Builder instead of writing code for each individual thing. You can zoom in and out, as you can see here, so you can see your entire storyboard on the screen. However, some operations when operating with storyboards require you be in the 100% view, and that's what this equal sign button here does for you. It takes you right back to 100% view. So let's run this, and then we'll talk about how it actually works. So this is going to work just like it did before. We click Add to add a new item to our table. And we tap on one of the items in the table. We go to the detail view with that item shown here in the label in the middle of the detail. So let's look at one more thing before we actually dig into the code to see how this is done. Which is, how do we know when this particular segue is invoked? Because you could have multiple segues out of a view controller to other view controllers. And the way that's done is we look over here and select the segue. You can see that the segue has an identifier, in this case, show detail. And it has the style, in our case, push. Now let's look and see how that's implemented. If we go to the master view controller, you'll see that we don't have a did select row for index path method anymore. All we have is prepare for segue. Prepare for segue is called each time a segue is going to be invoked. And it passes in this segue object. If we take a look at what's in a segue object, we'll see that a segue object has a source view controller, a destination view controller, and an identifier. The init with identifier and the perform are normally done by using segues that you create in Interface Builder. You can, of course, create these things programmatically, in which case you'll use that init method, and you'll call the perform method in order to invoke the segue. But for our purposes, we're doing it all with Interface Builder. And so all we need to know is when we get to prepare for segue, we've got a source view controller, we know who we are. We've got a destination view controller, we know where we're going. And we've got that identifier. So if we come back to our code, you can see that we compare the identifier to the identifier that we put into the segue. And then once we've got a matching identifier, we then go and do the equivalent of what was happening in did select row for table by going and getting the index path to the selected row and getting that particular index path and then extracting the object out of our objects array. Note that because this is objective C, we don't have to know what the type of our destination view controller is. All we need to know is that it has a property called detail item on which we can set a property. So we then use the destination view controller and call set detail item and pass in our date object. Since we're using a navigation controller here, we don't have to have a method of getting back from the detail view back to the main view, because that's handled for us in the navigation controller. So coming up, we'll talk about segues in more detail. We'll talk about how to create custom view controllers, and we'll talk about more sophisticated data passing between one view controller and the next using segues.